<laughs> we're back. I always try to think of something that might be like a, like a, like a commercial break theme. Wouldn't that be cool if you just composed jingles for commercial break theme? And we're back. Da dun da dun dun dun. That. This is a custom shop telly um, with gold hardware everywhere. A gold anodized pick guard. Uh, a really really pretty bird's eye neck. And it is a chambered, I can just tell that it's, that there's some weight relief in here. I can just tell. But look at how pretty that top is. Um, very quilty, quilty soft. The winter months are coming. Wouldn't you like a quilty soft maple? That's stupid. Um, first thing I notice when I pick up this guitar to play, yes, the weight. Second thing I notice, vintage wiring. Do you guys know what that means? So from Fender, they will offer you the wiring that originally came on these instruments, which if I'm in what is traditionally thought of as my neck position, obviously my volume functions, but my tone knob is not functional in that position because there's a cap on there that it, it's not wired to the tone knob. So this is essentially the tone rolled off without any use of the tone knob itself. It was to try to sound like a bass. That's, uh, that's the greatest bass line of all time. When I moved to the second position, which became the neck and middle, originally it was still the neck pickup, but I have the volume intact. Again, no tone control, it's just tone full on. So that's the neck pickup, bright as can be. Then I have my bridge. But I have control with the with the tone up. Or do I? So I'm still able to get a blended bridge and neck sound this the tone knob. Um, bound on the top not bound on the back and sides, which I kind of dig because that's where that part usually digs into my ribs and I'm, I'm okay with it. This is a fun guitar, mainly because it weighs nothing. It sounds like a telly. I may get in there with the old soldering iron and, and, uh, and change the wiring. You tell us what you think. If you owned an instrument, if it's vintage, did you leave it set up the way that Leo intended it originally or had you had it modified? Most players we know had theirs modified, as you know. Uh, but this is a really spanky, spanky? We're gonna call him a spanky. Oh, let's see what the... There was clean. Here's drivey. because it, 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 uh, it's definitely telly-ish, but that wiring takes you to the, I don't know, it does, just doesn't quite, quite go to what I'm expecting from a telly. Um, I have some fuzz, whatever. Let us know what you think. Um, you know we have a, a, a large portion of these artisan guitars that Fender Custom Shop offers that we definitely take credit for the naming of. Why wouldn't you? But this is a, 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 a slightly off that from, from some of the artisans that you've seen here. This is uh, still with the gold, but you know, keep, keep the questions coming. Are you a bird's eye maple fan? Are you a flamed maple fan? How'd you, got, how, how'd you wire your telly? It's, it's interesting to us. You can get on the website, artisanguitars.com. Um, you can also find on our website the amps we carry. I'm, I'm playing today through a, a car sportsman. I like to say sports, man. I put a comma in there because it makes me happy. But a single 12, um, it's got a master and a volume, so I can, get, I can get pretty gritty with the amp itself. If I take the, uh, the, the volume, just pin it, 
Ting might bring my master down. The amp will cook those preamp tubes, and I can sound pretty, pretty overdriven if I want to. Um, as you know, we're always coming to you through, a, through an SM57, so you're getting that close mic thing. If you're listening to this in, in headphones, you can really hear the, the, the close mic, uh, close to the speaker cone thing happening. Um, and then I run it through the Fender Santa Ana Overdrive. Um, typically, we like to try to give you a sound, a clean sound and the overdriven sound, but here's just clean. This is just the guitar clean. There's my blend. There's my neck. Drive. Oh, yeah. See you next time on Talking About Stuff. <laughs>